Today, Car and Boot are going to play the shortest game of Monopoly. They both start off with £1,500. This is Car's side and this is Boot. Let's go. First of all, Car throws a 12, double six, and goes from Go to Electric Company and decides not to buy it. Because they have a double, they throw again and surprisingly have another double six and end up on Trafalgar Square. And finally, they throw a nine, uh, if I can get that, and end up on Community Chest. They pick up a card and it happens to be bank error in your favour, collect 200 pounds. So they now have 1700 pounds. Now on to Boots first go, they throw a double two and end up on income tax and have to pay £200 to the bank. So they now only have £1300. Because they have a double two, they then take another go and end up with 11 and that takes them to Marylebone Station, which they decide not to buy. Next, it's Carr's second go. They throw a double two and end up on Park Lane, which, surprise, surprise, they buy for £350. And because they have a double, they throw again and end up with double one this time. So now they can move on to Mayfair and buy that as well. So they bought £750 worth of property and end up with £950. Car finishes their second go by throwing a four, passing go, ending up on Whitechapel Road, so they collect £200. So they have now got £1,150. And before his go finishes, he decides to buy five houses, puts two on Park Lane, three on Mayfair, and pays £1,000 to the bank. Boots now has their second go and simply throws a seven, if I can get seven, and ends up on chance, picks a chance card, and yes, it happens to be advance to Mayfair. So the advance to Mayfair with three houses is £1,400, but they've only got 1300 So they are bankrupt and that's the end of the game. Now the chances of this happening are 254 trillion to one against in a normal game. So I doubt it's ever happened, but there it is, the shortest possible game of Monopoly.